Hi everyone, this is Nikki Jane Stern again, and I'm back with another video in Rebel 5 Pro. And today we're going to be looking at the thick paint brushes. So if you've been following my videos, you will know that I've done several uh, brush demos, both in Corel Painter and Rebel 5 Pro. And so we have looked at, in Re uh, Rebel, we have looked at the flat brushes in the oils and acrylics, we've looked at watercolors, we've looked at the knives and uh, the uh, round brushes and several other categories. So today I'm going to do the thick paint brushes because I really love those brushes. And what I have done is, uh, just before I started this, was to create a background layer. Um, and the way I've done that is I'm just going into any brush in my uh, flat brush category in Rebel 5 Pro, and I'm merely uh, blending the paint and the texture on my canvas just to create uh, a texturized background. Uh, if I load the brush a bit more, it will add a little bit more texture to the paint. And so basically that was kind of existing paint. I literally just uh, repurposed another layer. And this is a great way to do uh, backgrounds, but other ways are that you can do edit fill with the color of your choice, or you can use a pre-painted, pre-prepared background. So what I have done here is that layer, um, and I'll just show you this really quickly in case you're seeing these videos for the first time, is that layer one is the canvas. If you go into the canvas, you can see that I have a range of papers, canvas papers. I have chosen uh, CA, which is canvas 09 for this, and I've got just gone with the default color. But you can obviously, if you play around with Revel, uh, Rebel, uh, five or you have it already you'll know to go into the uh, papers and play around with the papers because they do give very very different uh, brush marks depending on what you want to do and depending on the brushes you're using and there's some really wonderful papers there which we will explore in a different video and then on this layer <coughs> i used a background i painted in a background i think i used the round brushes for that and then on layer five it had some paint and so what I've just done is just blend that paint to just to make up a, a background so we're not just painting on the canvas and you can see the canvas showing through I can change the opacity of that okay and turn it right down and more of the underlying layer will appear okay so I'm just going to move the capacity the opacity up I've got my pigment color on so when I mix in it will um, mix the colors naturally. So I'm not going to use the uh, flat brushes any further because we've done those before. I'm going to go to the thick paint brushes and for the purposes of this brush demo I'm going to put it put my setting on paint. We have <coughs> we have paint, paint and mix, paint and blend and just blend. So you can feel free to play around with what these brushes do under those settings and as we go through if I want to show you what these brushes do what I will probably do is um, just experiment with some of the some of the colors uh, and some of the, the the settings so what we're looking at now is flat bristle we have it on paint uh, it's uh, the oiliness is set fairly high and you can see if the oiliness as the oiliness is high you can see the effect it has on this brush. And here it's just laying down paint. If I make the brush smaller, we have something very different. For demoing purposes, I tend to make the brushes larger, uh, just because, just, just, just to show them off really. But that's by no means the, um, you know, the status, the status quo. You can change any Worry of the settings. That. Worry about that, it's just something to be aware of because you might not want to bring that paint color in. Okay, so back on paint, we can add paint down that way. And we're going to go to flat dry. So flat dry, let's use this color, is a 
very um, oily brush. You can see the oiliness even when the oiliness is not really turned on. If I turn up the loading, it brings in some of that white. If I put it on blend, again, what it's doing is blending with the paint already on the canvas, which again, you may or may not want to have. I'm going to put it back on paint. Go to another color here. Wow, that's bright. Let's turn it down a bit. Okay. And obviously with a smaller brush, you can do less abstract stuff. Okay. Make less, abst uh, less abstract marks with this. All right. So that is flat dry. You can change any of the settings. If the loading, if you reduce the loading, you can see how you can create a very different, very different impression here, very different marks. If you want to increase the loading or the oiliness, just turn it up and you'll immediately get more paint and very defined marks as you paint. Okay, so I would encourage you to play around with that. Flat wet is going to be a wetter brush. Let's choose a different color here. A very, uh, you know, wet brush. I would initially, you might want to reduce the oiliness. It is very oily and it is quite wet. Uh, you might want to reduce the loading just so you can control it. And you might want to make it a bit smaller. So it really depends on, you know, what your painting with these demos i am being really quite abstract if you're painting a more realistic painting you would do things a little bit differently but with a smaller size you can see it builds and you can see that um it's it's a bristly brush as well okay if i put this on i haven't used paint and mix that much I think that works more with a watercolor type of brush, but I am going to sample right now. And I think you'll get quite good effects with paint and see it is, it is kind of mixing it. It's changing a little bit of what this color is, but really you'll get more if you, if you do paint and blend, you will see it pull in this. So maybe if you're painting faces and hair, for example, you might get some, um, something really interesting and obviously you can play around with this a lot more than I'm doing in this video okay so I've made the loading fairly low for that one just to show you rough dry let's go to rough dry let's pick this color this is a very let's see what we've got I've reduced the oiliness there and uh, let's put it on paint so this will allow you to put down some short strokes here. It, it's interacting with the paper texture. If you make it smaller, some people are more comfortable with a smaller brush. Sample. You can see the, the strokes it's putting down here. And if you if I increase the loading, I can load more paint and color. Like so. Sampling is a really good way to keep your color palette consistent and bring in, you know, colors that you might want that are already in your either your reference or your picture and um, I'm just gonna go to the maybe the color wheel see you can just lay down paint there and if you increase the oiliness you'll get a thicker a, a visibly thicker stroke this is just in the paint and with blending you can see how you can blend quite nicely there. All right, that's rough dry, rough oily. 
again a really lovely brush just gorgeous the way it goes on really really I mean these need to be felt to be believed quite frankly it's one thing looking at them on a video it's quite another thing actually painting with them it's a really nice experience okay so that one is rough oily and there I had it just on paint if I put it on blend it will do that it will it will blend um, but it gives a lot of uh, flexibility here okay let's try and making you make use of this canvas a little bit more effectively okay just to just to show you I'll do my best to show you this what we're doing here okay all right that is rough oily uh, again with the loading and the size you can get different strokes here so rough wet it's kind of uh similar it's a wetter brush but you can see um, the thick paint properties and i'm going to increase the oiliness with this just to see what we get and that color is far too near to what is on the canvas so let's change it up a little bit um, but you can just see the luscious strokes this is laying down here it's really nice you know this is really just brings life to um, oil painting especially since it's digital it just is um, really gives a lovely feel to it. I'm going to sample this white, bring this in, just so you can see. So I've got the size medium there. Obviously, if you make it smaller, you can get some thin strokes within this thick paint category. Let's do a sort of like the look of flowers here. Not really flowers, but, you know, so you could use this for sketching. You could use this as a very small size and use it to to sketch, but also excellent to to block in. And then if you wanted to blend it, if you wanted to use it to blend your paint, I would make it bigger so you get more coverage and then blend that way. very different results but I love the raised um, paint strokes here All right, let's go back to paint um, thick dry thick dry let's look at thick dry so as you would imagine this is a thick dry brush uh, size if I put it here um, loading I've got it pretty high and oiliness I've got it pretty high and as I increase it you can see that this builds up a stroke here now um, it's not a dirty brush I don't know why it's bringing in that but it is I think it puts in the last color you use so this is why you need to experiment with some of these these brushes I haven't used these in a long time and I really just sort of flitted by them because you really just use your brushes for the purpose that you want them right but when you do this kind of uh, experiment you can experiment with all of them and then mark the ones you want to come back to this is a really nice very luscious thick paint uh, brush and obviously if you reduce the size you get a really nice thick paint stroke there too okay let's move on thick round right out of space here uh, let's see what we haven't used here purple so thick round now this is very smooth this is an interesting one this is very smooth oh I've got it on paint and blend no wonder let's see what happens okay so even even when I've got it on just paints this really does lay down it's 
some nice paint marks if I increase the size yeah if I increase the size this is a really good sort of coverage coverage brush and this is I think this is one of the brushes I used to do the um, to do the background when I set this up so you can just get it will interact with your paper texture I'm using this color a lot I'm not sure why but uh, yeah this is what you get this is a really nice brush okay moving on thick thick round just making sure I haven't left any out here yeah so that one was thick round one and this one is thick round two so for thick round two this lays down let's check the loading and the oiliness lays down a very luscious oily stroke paint mark I should say right you can it builds really builds up the paint look at the difference there Ooh, I love this I know I tend to do circles a lot I only seem to do that when I'm demoing it just seems to sort of show what the what the uh, paint could do and I always think I'm trying to paint flowers but I'm not all right so you can see how thick this is obviously if you reduce the oiliness and the loading it will be slightly reduced okay so yours to experiment with and last but not least we have thick wet so thick wet is a wet brush I'm going to reduce the loading a little bit just to control it and this looks like it's been a dirty brush but it's not supposed to I think this is pulling this is interacting with with paint in the actual background I think that's what this is doing sometimes you have to play around with them and this has a wet texture to it Ooh, I don't like that color this has a wet texture to it and also it's if I turn that off a bit it was actually mixing okay if I turn that back on it's gonna and then put it on paint and mix it should actually try and mix some of this paint but I'm gonna try paint and blend just, just for the fun of it and uh, you can see this is really nice like this is kind of cool for backgrounds using this this setting right that's because it's on paint and mix put it back to paint you'll get something something very different this is blue let's put it up top here so really nice they're very interesting thick paint brushes um, but they're very nice I I, I really do uh, I really do like these brushes so these are the thick paint brushes in um, Rebel Pro 5s so thank you very much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.